when you and you look at the things that he does on the field, it's not always the homers. But that was something different. He added that to his game. It was already unbelievably good, right? So you go through this whole process, and, and, and just going through tonight, Evan Gettys, as you mentioned, I already got him on the board. But this is opposite field, inside out the baseball, and goes and goes bridge. Knows it out the box, right? This this is off Chris Sale in the DS. Not one, not two lows, but I'm I'm gonna empty the kitchen sink and go with three of them. And you're going, holy smoke, are you What's really this good? Here? But it's not just the homers. It's always being on point, knowing exactly what the pitchers are doing. It's almost like he's in the meetings with the pitchers, knowing exactly the situation, and just lefties, righties, 100 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour. It does not matter. When he's in the box, you have to almost pitch around him. They didn't, and he made them pay throughout the whole process of the postseason, and he pretty much single handedly because this team struggled. Mind you, they had 60 guys on base. But out two way, when he got a shot to do what he needed to do, he came through and got his boys to the, to the promised land. Look, now I don't know if they're going to win this thing and get the chip, but he's done everything he could possibly do to get him to that World Series, and hopefully he continues as his fun to watch. He's just so good about making adjustments as he goes. I mean, right. He reads what the pitches are doing, and pretty much in the bat itself can tell himself, you know what, I'm just going to sit back a little bit. I'm going to sit on a pitch. Those I'm going to get numbers. started early. Man, he's a stud.